Hello and welcome to another painting video from JMP Miniatures. This time I'm painting a Tyranid Venom Throw and I'm just doing a little run through of how I paint this model. So first off, I'm using a white primer from Vallejo and I'm just airbrushing this over the entire model. The next colour I use is Pale Flesh from Vallejo. I'm just airbrushing over this over all the flesh areas. So all I'm avoiding here is the carapace that's going to be purple. Now I'm getting all the tentacles, all the facial areas and all the arms. So now all the airbrushing's out of the way, moving on to some washes. So first up I'm using Vallejo Skin Wash and I'm giving this a light coating over all the skin areas. So anything that was coated with pale flesh is getting washed with this skin wash. Uh, it's been watered down one part water to one part uh, wash so it's a 50-50 mix. It helps it run better and it makes it more transparent. So just to finish the flesh off, once that wash is dry, I'm going ahead and getting the pale flesh back out. But this time I'm using a large dry brush and I'm just roughly brushing over the entire skin area of the model. Doing it quite heavily as well to give a nice bright skin colour. So next up, I'm going about painting the toxin sacks on top of the model. Uh, I'm doing this in squid pink. This is the only step I wasn't actually sure about because I'm following the way I would usually paint a Tyranid as I've painted all the other Tyranids on the channel like the Khan effects and the Hive Tyrant. I'm using the same method here but that's the only difference with the Venom throw. Uh, as it, once again like I said I'm using the same method Demonet Hide from Citadel and I'm base coating the Carapus areas. And to base coat the claws, I'm using Mephiston Red from Citadel. Now to bring that purple colour down, I use black ink from Vallejo. This is watered down one part ink, one part water. I'm just covering all, carefully covering all the purple areas. Um, I actually leave the toxin sacks on top. It's just for the carapace areas, this wash. And then for the toxin sacks, I make a mix of ink washes. So it's two parts Carabag Crimson from Citadel and one part black ink from Vallejo. The black ink just kind of gives it some nice shadow and the Carabag Crimson makes it the kind of dark red that you would expect this toxin sack to be. It takes away the intensity from that pink. So I'm going ahead with the large dry brush again and I've got the Demonet Hide back out. I'm just dry brushing over all the carapace areas doesn't really matter if you hit the uh, toxin sacks at this step. I, I covered them in quite a lot of this colour and it kind of just works into the toxin sack colour. It looks quite nice. So I'm just covering all the carapace areas carefully, missing the skin. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a dry brush highlight with Stonewall Grey from Vallejo. This is hitting all the highest areas of the carapace just to give it some nice contract, uh, contrast and definition. So back over the toxin sacks, um, I'm using a mix of paints here. It's a mix of one, one to one, scarlet red and squid pink. So this is kind of a, I've took the pink colour, I've mixed a bit of red in to make it slightly darker and I'm layering this over all the main areas of the toxin sacks um, and just leaving the original colour in the recesses. So for the claws, I'm just going ahead with the final wash and I'm using Raglan Flesh Shade from Citadel and I'm just kind of putting it over all of the claw areas just to give a bit of darkness and shadow at the bottom of the claw. And then I just go ahead and paint the eye in with Flash Kits Yellow from Citadel. 
So for this section, I'm going to highlight the toxin sack. So I'm using a mix of paints again. It's three parts bone white and one part gory red from Vallejo. I've added quite a lot of paint thin out of this mixture so I can get a transparent highlight. I'm just highlighting some key areas on the toxin sacks to add some depth to them. So here's a look at finished models. I painted three at the same time. It was quite quick to do. Um, I'm quite happy with the outcome. Uh, I wasn't actually sure how to go about painting the toxin sack to start off, but I'm quite happy with how it looks. It looks very different in the carapace, which is what I was going for. Um, so I hope this might be helpful to anyone who's planning on painting a venom throw up. And I'd just like to say thanks for watching.